who has the coaching edge in this game? Is it, you know, is it Michigan or is it Michigan State? You want me to start off here? Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. So you, you're putting me in a conundrum. Now I got to <laughs> sound like I'm about to diss once again my own university. But <laughs> let me preface my answer by saying I don't believe that Jim Harbaugh's strength lies in pregame preparation. Um, I don't look at him as an X's and O's genius, right? He clearly isn't that. I mean, most of his offenses is, are pretty vanilla. they always been pretty vanilla. But I always believe that he was a really, really good to, at one point, great culture builder, right? And was really good at injecting juice, right? So to answer your question, I got to give that edge to Mel Tucker from a, you know, from a guy who's better at know pre-game preparation and and x and o's purely based on the fact that i don't think that i actually think that's a weakness of gems right so uh, i'll give the pre-game coaching edge to mel tucker okay that's very interesting uh mark what say you who who's got the uh the coaching edge in this in this game oh man that is a great question that is a great question because mel tucker's only been at this now his third season overall as a head coach, uh, <laughs> Come man, on, Mark. and, and, and not honest. knowing the staffs in depth, you know, I'm not going to go through positional coaches and what they could contribute and all the whole deal. But uh, between the two, you know, I, I tend to agree with what Dre's bringing to the table. But I would like to have something, something to add. I can't say that. Uh, I, I will say that. Uh, Jim Harbaugh has obviously been in bigger games. Uh, I don't think Mel Tucker is going to go into this game, you know, nervous wreck or anything like that. So that's not what I mean. But um, certainly he's not coached. Uh, this may be the biggest game he's ever coached in, if you think about it, as a head coach. Uh, because Colorado, you know, they went 5-7 and seven under the radar, never played in a big game. Last year was a throwaway year. Michigan State, whatever they were, 3-5, and 2-5. And, and then they get into this game here, and they've beaten all – teams with losing records, obviously rivalry, big 10 game. And on top of it, both teams are seven and zero, ranked in the top six or seven in the country. This is by far the biggest game he's ever coached in. Um, but uh, man, I love Mel Tucker's swag. I like his approach. He just seems like he knows exactly where he's headed and the program's coming with him. He like, look, seems like a very determined confident, uh, single-minded individual in regards to knowing what he's all about, what he wants his program to be all about, and knows how to get there. Sounds like a young Jim Harbaugh, doesn't it? That's, that's, that's how <laughs> yeah. younger Jim Harbaugh yeah. sounds. You know, that, that, honestly, like, if you think about Jim, Paul, Jim Harbaugh's uh, you know, impact at San Diego, right? I think it was University of San Diego. And then, you know, his impact at Stanford, his impact – the San Francisco 49ers and, and now his his initial impact with Michigan he will bring that young kind of fire uh that exact approach knowing he will come to whatever program he was at and regardless of what trend around the sport was going on he installed a very uh specific strategy which is we're going to be mentally tough we're going to play old school uh a smash and ground and, and pound football um, you know, both defensively and offensively, we're not going to create turnovers and we're going to be, uh, if this, if this is a, a battle, you know, we're going to be the, the last team standing. We're not trying to win pretty. We're trying to win the game, um, um, uh, physically and mentally. Uh, so I, I, I like how Mark uh, said that about Mel Tucker, Tucker, cause it reminded me of like a younger Jim Harbaugh and what he was known for. Um, but no, uh, you know, I, I think it's a great question, but I just think, you know, Mark brought up that how. Harbaugh's been in way more bigger games, and that is true. However, unfortunately, more times not at Michigan, Harbaugh's, you know, has been on the losing end of those bigger games. Now, he's been trying to work on changing that around. I thought Wisconsin this year, he beat with Notre, Notre Dame game of 2019 and the Wisconsin game uh, this year is, is definitely taking steps to change that. Uh, but, you know, being in big games, having that experience in big games is great, but, you know, you got to start figuring out ways to win them before I start to give you, you know, that's in your feather cap, right? I can count on you to come up big and get your guys prepared. And, you know, last year, even though it was a COVID year and there was no fans at the big house, um, 
that was a big game between State and Michigan. And Des, you said it many times, whether whether we were talking or texting about it, you were really, really shocked and displeased with the lack of energy that the Michigan football players showed last year against mm-hmm. MSU. And Even early uh, they, on too, because we, yeah. we, you know, obviously we we text quite a bit, but early on I had sent you a text. I'm like, man, they they just you just didn't see the energy from Michigan, you know, and I, and I thought that was a game that, you know, you can roll out of bed, you know, just with where those teams were like, granted, there was a a lot of factors with COVID and things like that, but, you know, just looking at it, like, you know, Tucker's got essentially no off season. Like he barely even knows, you know, the, the names of his 2d roster. (laughs) Right. So I, I just felt like you were able to, to roll out of bed and win that game and just to not have any energy or juice and, and I think Aiden Hutchinson, maybe, or, or one of the guys, um, you know, in their weekly media sessions had mentioned, like, last year we looked past them. And it, and that's exactly how it looked. It looked like, you know, Michigan looked past them last year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I, but to, to be honest, I don't think that's going to happen this year. You know, uh, and we're Absolutely going to have predictions and stuff, and stuff like that. I think the leadership and the focus. One thing about this Michigan team is that every week they come out uh, pretty focused. Um, they have the right energy. I love how they play. I actually like how they play. They to me they play better on the road than they do at home. You know, in ter- in terms of, you know, they 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 like to steal the, you know, home team's juice, you know, whatever thing they do in a four quarter get hype, you know, that's something new this year, you know. It it tends to work for these guys, right? So, you know, whether it's Wisconsin jump around or I think it was San uh, uh Thunderstruck or whatever it was for them at Nebraska. You know, you know, whatever MSU is going to do, if they do anything, you know, Michigan players are going to join in uh, uh, to to steal their juice. I think it's what they say. So, look, I, I, I think this year it reminds me a lot of uh, the uh, revenge tour year in which, you know, the previous year the team had some big disappointments. Um, they lost to MSU because that was 2018. So 2017, they lost to MSU. That's when that was the rainy game at, at Michigan Stadium, MSU. <laughs> and they, they came to they, they came in and they beat us. And uh that following year was the revenge tour year. And that Michigan team, that's when I was talking a lot. I feel I was feeling pretty good about myself. <laughs> they won 10 in a row, and I was talking about bring on Bama. Uh so yes, guys, you know, I, I can be overly <laughs> confident and I can be a slappy at times. I'm not just negative all the time, trust me. Uh, but I learned my lesson from that year. But my point is, is that it reminds me a lot of that year. You know, um, in terms of the the focus of this team. Now, rather they can finish through, we'll find out. Yeah, yeah. It's it's you know I I would say you know to 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 answer the the question that I had posed, I do think it probably is Mel Tucker as far as who you know what which staff has the the coaching edge and advantage, um, and I, I think a lot of it is just the like mark mentioned the swagger like the confidence of of mel tucker i think i think this game fits right in with kind of how he just carries himself like they you know i see it on on uh on twitter with uh the woodshed like that you know just the whole persona like we're just a, a grimy like grinding kind of of bunch and that's how we're gonna play um but i but the interesting part is i actually think michigan has the better team going yeah. into the game. 